Yes, we get a lot of questions in on ammonia, especially people who are new to the hobby and are cycling a tank. Personally, I'd only cycle a tank using ATM Colony. Um, it's got its fans and its detractors, but it works really well. It cycles it really solidly, time after time. We've been using it for years on all of our systems, on a commercial scale, as well as home hobbyist tanks. As long as you follow the instructions, it works flawlessly every time. So I would use that to do it. As far as testing ammonia, bear in mind ammonia can exist in two separate states, one of which is highly toxic and one of which is not really toxic. And if you're testing with a liquid test kit, it tests the total of those two types. So if you are using something like a live bacteria like colony, you will get an ammonia reading, but it will be the non-toxic form of ammonia as the toxic form is used up. If you're using electronic testing of ammonia, um, say you're using a seni or something like that to measure the ammonia levels, that will actually re uh, just test for the toxic form. Um, and the ratio normally between the two depends on your pH. Um, but do you, unless you're cycling an aquarium, I wouldn't worry about ammonia at all. Chances are that if you do have a problem with ammonia, by the time you'd identified it, tested it and done everything else, all the damage is already done. If you do think you've had an ammonia spike, these because ammonia disappears so quickly, you're actually more reliable to test for nitrite, which will still hang around. So if you think your tank has been subject to an ammonia spike for whatever reason, then actually probably don't bother but test ammonia, test nitrite, because if you're reading a level on nitrite, you can tell there was an ammonia problem. A lot of the time when people lose their fish, especially if they're new to the hobby, they've done something catastrophically wrong, and they've lost all their fish, they'll test their water, they'll be in a region of ammonia, and they'll think that, that is what the problem is. It very rarely is. Ammonia is actually not that toxic in salt water. The ammonia you detect would just, just be from the dead fish, basically, rotten bodies of the dead fish. Um, also, a lot of li liquid test kits often give a false positive reading for ammonia. So some brands in particular will always show a, like, a 0.1 or 0.2 ammonia, even when the level is actually zero. Um, Personally, I'd use Salifert test kits for testing ammonia. They're widely available, easy to use, and they're one of the cheapest ones out there as well as an added bonus. They're fairly reliable. Um, but unless you're cycling a tank or curing live rock, I wouldn't bother testing ammonia at all.